Hello guys, Nepal Times here, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to show you how you can use picture in picture on your Mac and your iPad on YouTube. Okay, so picture in picture is actually a functionality that was introduced way back in iOS 9, I believe, when the very first iPad Pro came out and it basically allows you to watch a video and continue watching it uh, in a side of the screen as you use other apps. Currently it's only available on the iPad, sadly. However, some apps like Telegram have it inside the app, which is pretty great. So since the release, many apps have integrated this. For example, Netflix or FaceTime has have this functionality available on the iPad, but there is one app which doesn't have it, and it's of course YouTube. But there is actually a way around it, and it's what I'm gonna show you in this video. I will show you on the iPad and also in the Mac because it's also available in the Mac. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see we have the iPad here and if we go into the YouTube app and we tap any video. Hello guys, Apple Times here, welcome to a new video and today we can see it and we can put it here. But if we go out, the video will stop. But there's a way around it. So if we go to Safari and we go to YouTube in Safari and we search for the video and play the video here let's play another one you can actually play it here and if you go into full screen you have this little icon right here on the corner and that actually activates picture in picture. So as you can see the video is now here and we can quit the app and it will still play even with the sound, which is pretty great. Then this window you can resize it and make it larger, smaller, put it in whatever corner you want, even put it out of the screen if you just wanna listen to the video. And this is also supported with uh, multitasking. So if I get Safari and reminders and I get the calendar, for example, we have all of these apps open at the same time. Oops, this is a spoiler of some of other videos. But we have four apps open at the same time, including the picture-in-picture -picture video. So this is very good. So yeah, that's the way you can watch it in the iPad. Also here, you have this icon to go back, to pause it, or to close it. So if you go back here, it will go back to YouTube, and here you have all the usual options. Okay, so now onto the Mac, where it's even easier. What's not easier in the Mac actually it's to show you without glare, so I will do my best. But yeah, in the Mac you basically just have to go to Safari, go to YouTube, play whatever video you want, and it will play. I look so young here. And then you have to dub, uh, right click, which is click with two fingers in the trackpad or, or if you have the mouse, right click. And then right click again, and you will see a small menu here. One of them is enter picture in picture. So you do it and there you are. Now you can go everywhere and it's just the same as in iOS. You can resize it, bigger, smaller, put it in any corner, hide it, and yeah, it's very good. Then you have the options to pause it here or to uh, go back here, or you can just close it here. So yeah, this has been how to use picture in picture in the Mac. With newer Macs that have a touch bar, it's very simple since you just get a picture-in-picture -picture button on the touch bar. So you just press it and then the video goes to picture-in-picture. -picture. Now let's go ahead and finish the video. Okay, so as you saw, it's very easy to use picture-in-picture -in, -picture in the iPad and the Mac. It's a little bit more of a hassle in the iPad, but in the Mac it's natively supported, which is pretty great if you use Safari. So yeah, as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Also, thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more Apple related content coming every week. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.